Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered today's video. I wanted to do a drugstore version of just how to get a dewy glow with some skincare, some makeup, if you have dry skin. <laughs> I have dry skin, so that's why I can kind of like relate, but I can, um, if you want, make another video for those who are not very dry and kind of give you product suggestions. Just comment that down below. And also, if you are not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you gave me a like. It helps out my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, when it comes to dewy skin, I think of just radiant skin, glowing skin. My mind doesn't necessarily go to anything shimmery or anything like that. I'm 35. I don't like any glitter on my face or anything like that. I just feel like because I have texture in certain spots, it'll highlight it. So I avoid glitter at all. What was the like? I just I avoid glitter. So if you don't like glitter on your face at all, you're definitely in the right spot. So one of the things that I do recommend as far as skincare is you have to exfoliate. I don't have any exfoliators that are drugstore. I can quickly give you the ones that I use that I really like. What's tried and true that I used to use like before like my channel started to grow, I used to use baking soda. And if you get a little bit of baking soda, like half a teaspoon, mix it with water and just like scrub and then rinse off, it does help to take off the dead skin. That is super helpful. I actually learned that from a Ray Morris um, makeup manual book. So that's something if you're in a pinch and you need it. But my favorite um, exfoliator is from Pillow Talk Derm. It's called the Major Fade Mask. It has AHA in it. It has glycolic, glycolic acid in it. So it does a really good job of exfoliating the skin. The reason exfoliating is important is because it's going to remove that top layer, it's going to remove any flakiness, any dryness, and it just leaves your skin very smooth. The second thing about achieving a dewy, glowy look is going to be moisturizer. So I mentioned I am dry. There are two moisturizers that I love. You can find them at CVS, you can find them at, well you can find one of them at ShopRite because that's where I bought mine. You can find it at Target. Pretty much accessible. And it's gonna be the Honest Beauty Melting Calm Balm. I'm sorry, Calm and Heal Melting Balm. That one is like a tongue twister. And OG, OG favorite is the Nivea Cream. These are both very emollient moisturizers. I will say the Nivea does have a scent to it. So if you don't like anything that's scented, I would go with the Honest Beauty. This one is not scented. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll put one cream on one side, one cream on the other side, just so you have an idea. Now, because these are both heavy creams, I have them both on the back of my hand. Um, this one on the top is the Nivea. This one is the Honest Beauty. Whenever I'm working with either or, I will kind of warm it up on the back of my hand and then go to apply. When you're applying your moisturizer, when you have dry skin, you really need to take your time and work it into the skin. You know, we're, we're just going to use the Nivea one because I ended up mixing them. Um, see how as I'm putting this on and I'm like massaging it into my face? It's I'm working it in and it's also leaving a glow because these are emollient moisturizers. They're going to leave your skin glowing all day. And that's going to be helpful if you're trying to achieve a dewy look. Because any makeup I put on top of this now, it's going to have a glow. That's That's just how it works. But during the day, I use a little bit less of this because it's it's kind of... Somebody who's not dry is going to say, oh my gosh, this is too heavy. But for me, it's it's just right. So I kind of, I put it on, I let it sit. But look, as I turn, it my skin is already glowing. And that's, again, that's the moisturizer. All right. After that, the next thing you can do to give yourself a really nice glow is there's two products that I'm going to suggest. One is Tried and True Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. I have shade medium. And then the new Physician's Formula Butter Glow Highlighter. Now, if you want to, you can put this on underneath foundation, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how that glow is gonna peek through. 
that's one of the ways, like, especially if our skin is looking like dull, it's dry, or you just need a pick me up, that's a great way to boost that dewiness. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Physician's Formula. I'm gonna put that one on this side. Another great option that you have too is the e.l.f. Halo filter. That's a good one. So the Physician's Formula one is really nice because that light just bounces off. I know somebody asked me in a previous video if it's glittery. I don't think it translates glittery on the cheek. It just, the pigment and like the little pearlescent that's in it is so fine that it just reflects back like this. So you can put that on the cheek, kind of put it along this part of the eye, anywhere the light just naturally bounces. So you could even, if you wanted to, take it above the brow, down the nose. See how that's, it's just really pretty and just glowy. Then you can take the L'Oreal. I'll demonstrate that one on this side. The L'Oreal one, I think, has a more muted glow. See the difference? This is the L'Oreal. Yeah, this is the L'Oreal and this is the Physician's Formula, but both give a really nice glow. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal one here. And the L'Oreal one is very, very nice too. Both of these feel very moisturizing on the skin and both give a, a really beautiful glow. Like this one is a little more subtle, but it's there. This one's a little more pronounced, super pretty. Once I put foundation on top, you guys will see how it looks. All right, now, final step of getting a nice dewy complexion is gonna be what foundation you choose. I'm always gonna opt for either a skin tint, a skin serum. I would avoid a full coverage foundation because then it's gonna look kind of, I don't wanna say it's gonna look heavy, but if you go heavy handed with it, it's gonna kill everything that we've done so far, right? So I'm gonna try two different foundations, one on one side, one on the other side, both drugstore. You can find these at Ulta, um, you can find them at CVS, probably Target. I'm gonna do the Neutrogena Serum foundation on one side, and then I'm gonna do the Makeup Revolution, the CC Skin Tint. This one's really pretty. You can find both of these for sure at Ulta. I don't know what shade I am in my Neutrogena one, so I have two. I might have to mix, because this one looks pink, and this one looks like it might be too dark. But you know what? It's a serum, like it's a sheer one, so I'm actually gonna go with M01, I made it a point to shake it. Let me shake it a little bit more. The reason I like skin tints is because they are gonna be lightweight and when it's lightweight, whatever we put underneath the skin is gonna peek through. So I'm taking the Neutrogena one and let's put it over the Physician's Formula. use your fingers to apply, you're gonna get a nice sheer application. You could use a brush as well, whatever you're comfortable with. I sometimes like to start with my fingers and then go in with a brush. Just to make sure everything is really blended in. So see, we put the skin tint over it, but that glow still peeks through. There are certain areas that you wanna hit with highlighter, I'm gonna show you after, just to give you an idea, just to kind of like amplify that glow. But when I think of um, dewy skin, I think of like just skin that doesn't look like there's makeup there, but just has a glow. The Makeup Revolution one is one of those that you have to kind of mix and you get like your own color. Like it starts off white, and as you mix it into your skin, it breaks up the pigments and it works with your skin tone. So I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. And we're gonna put it right over the L'Oreal. What are you guys thinking so far? 
Is there a side that you see that you feel is more dewy? I feel like this one's definitely like it's giving glow. <laughs> All right. So these two products are gonna be a huge role when you're achieving glowy skin. Now it doesn't have to be exactly these products, like I said, it could be anything you like that's like glowy, but we're gonna go back and we are gonna add a little bit on top of what we just did. We're, we're glowing, right? I put a little bit more of that Physician's Formula on the back of my hand. I'm going to really warm it up because now I'm gonna place it sort of like strategically on my face. So I'm gonna come in, I have it here, and I'm gonna dot it along like my cheekbone, any high point of my face. Just like that. That's so beautiful. Um, if you do that and then you take a little bit more. So what I like to do is like, I have a light here. And as I turn, I see where the light sort of catches and like I'm catching some light right over here. I'm doing a sheer, sheer, sheer amount on this part of my forehead. See how like when I turn, it's just like, it's glowy. That's what we want. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go back in with that L'Oreal. I'm gonna take it. Again, along the cheekbone. See, as I turn, the light just catches. And that's really it when it comes to dewy skin. You wanna make sure your skin is prepped. Like, let's recap. When it comes to dewy skin, you want to make sure your skin is prepped, you exfoliate, you want to use a good moisturizer to really hydrate the skin. If your skin is dry and it's not moisturized, whatever you put on top is going to definitely show like, okay, my skin is dry, there's texture, we don't want that. Then after moisturizer, a good lightweight foundation. Now, totally, like if you have redness, if you need full coverage, go for something more full coverage, just use less layers of it and just you know, apply where you need it and then sheer out. And then like I said, your best friend's gonna be a highlighter. Liquid highlighters I find tend to be the easiest to work with. Uh, powder highlighters, sometimes they have too much of a metallic finish, too much of shimmer, so I try to avoid that. But the liquid ones are always a safe, safe bet to go with. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below.